What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Team Scat Cat channel. It feels like, to me it feels like it's been a while since I've actually gotten broken out my GoPro, broken out my Canon and talked to you guys. Now obviously those of you who are uh, subscribed and those new ones who are continuing to subscribe to the channel, obviously you see uh, my new videos. I gotta get in this lane. You see my new videos every weekend. But technically, I've said it before in my other videos, I, I really, I, I go out and I grind for like a good two or three weekends and I front load a lot of my videos. So I do a lot of them. Uh, I make like maybe three or four videos uh, like, you know, on a, on any given Saturday or Sunday. So, down shift, one more, and let him pass, and then give it a go. Caught him real quick. I usually front load a lot of my videos for you guys, and then I put them on the YouTube scheduling so that you guys can see them. But anyway, that's not what I was talking about, in, you know, in the beginning. That's not what I was going to talk about. I was going to talk about that it feels like it's been a while since I've talked to you guys, but let's talk for a little bit. Let's let's talk about some uh, recent developments in the Mopar world. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So if any of you guys are on, uh, you know, Mopar related Facebook pages or Charger Challenger related Facebook pages, anything like that, I'm sure you guys have seen uh, the picture going around um, from uh, Pedro Marulo or who also we know as the Moparian. Um, Facebook page and apparently there is a site somewhere I tried to dig a little bit and I couldn't really figure out uh, what site this was or who was offering it but apparently there is a site who weird weird thing already because it's not even available yet but there is a site that's marketing the Elephant engine and if you guys haven't seen my video about uh, you know my uh, thoughts on the reveal and everything, go check out that video. I'll put in a little card for it right now so you can just click on that and you can head over to that video. But first, let's see this, let's hear this video out first. Back to the topic, this site was offering the Helifant engine, no kidding, the aluminum block 426, 1000 horsepower, uh, Hellcat supercharged engine, and they were offering it, y'all, did, did you get there? They're offering it, hold on, let me take this. They were offering that shit, uh, for $60,000. And, <laughs> And they had they had the balls. This site had the balls to put under it that it's on sale right now. So they'll take ten grand off. Which sure, anything that I'm buying, if I can take ten grand off of it, is nice. But they had the balls to put under that. They'll take ten grand off and they'll make it fifty thousand dollars. Now, I find this incredibly hard to believe. If this shop already has some allocations that like well then good for them that's freaking awesome if they've got allocations but it's not the elephant is not out yet so don't you know if any of you are fortunate enough and want to do that don't get your pants into a bunch because the elephant is not out yet and it won't be out probably until the first quarter of um 2019 somewhere around the first or second quarter of 2019 so you still got a little bit to wait now now we're coming up on the new year but you still got a little bit to wait now so that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. If they got allocations, that's great. I also, I, I perused through a couple of the comments and I saw uh, Steve White Motors also commented on the same picture and said apparently that this, that offering of the engine was only for uh, resto, uh, restos only, uh, that's restorations, and it was not meant for the, for a modern day car. Which, sure, that's great. If that's what they're offering for, if they're only getting allocations for restoration cars, I mean, that's cool, good for them, I mean that site but I still have yet to, uh, traffic jam I still have yet to figure out what that site was but if any of you guys know go ahead and comment below and let me know what site that was but anyway whichever site that is offering the elephant engine which is not out yet for sixty thousand dollars on sale right now well you know get your wallets ready for fifty thousand dollars my thoughts on that one is that is an absolutely outrageous price even for a thousand horsepower supercharged 426. I, I think that is an outrageous price. What the hell's going on over here? Sorry, we got people who want to move slow in like the only lane that's supposed to go fast and I'm at dead stop and literally everybody else is going around me. So this makes no fucking sense right now. I think that is an outrageous price for the elephant, regardless of it being supercharged. Again, 
I'm going to mention my previous video about uh, my thoughts on the announcement and the reveal. I still think that the Elephant engine will probably be anywhere from the low 30s to very low 40s. So anywhere between probably like 33,000 to maybe 42,000 considering that, well, I mean, if you want to get over, you don't have to come next to my car. You can just get behind my car. I can't, I can't believe some people, man. Like, do you guys talk to yourselves like this when you're in traffic and you're dealing with people who literally cannot drive, can absolutely have absolutely no driving prowess whatsoever? Because I do it all the time. Be it one person or four people in the car or just me, myself, and I. I talk to myself all the time about the idiots. And if you happen to make it in this video, and I'm talking about you, sorry, you're an idiot. That's, you drive like a complete asshat. But back to the topic at hand. I believe the Helifant engine will still be offered when it comes first, second quarter of 2019 for between, uh, like I said before, $33,000 all the way up to maybe $42,000. Considering that the Hellcrate engine with everything, you bought everything with the Hellcrate engine and talk about a bargain though. I mean, we're talking lot, mucho dinero, but we're talking bargain here, um, was just, under $23,000 for the entire crate. Like, talking gas pedal and everything. $22,000. Uh, $23,000, I apologize. So, I just wanted to touch base with you guys and see if anyone else has seen this outrageous photo. And I'll put in the photo right now. If anyone else has seen this outrageous photo and this outrageous price that this place is offering for health and engine, um, personally, I think shame on them because that is, I mean, that's worse. In my mind, that's worse than like, you know, the general markups that we're getting for the uh, Trackhawks and for the um, Red Eyes and stuff like that. I mean, I get it. You know, you got to make a little bit of profit on it, but especially with the car not even be or the car especially with the engine and the crate not even being out yet uh, I, and I mean I think for what it's gonna be offered I think that is one hell of a markup but as us Mopar lovers already know we live in a world where pretty much everything new coming out from Fiat Chrysler America is gonna have quote-unquote one hell of a markup anyway especially if it's something that you're gonna have fun in or something that you technically have to quote-unquote pay to play in. So, I mean, I know I'm living, I'm living that life right now. You know, you got to pay to play all the time with, uh, you know, the SRT and the Hellcat and stuff like that. So I know that pain for the other SRT owners and Hellcat owners, supercharged owners. I know your pain. I feel your pain every day, but it ain't about the miles per gallon. It's about the miles per gallon, right? With that, I hope I didn't talk a million miles a minute to you guys as I'm trying to navigate through as I literally just got off of this ramp, maybe... 15 minutes ago and is now com almost complete gridlock traffic. I love it. It is just tits. Anyway, as I said before, I hope I didn't talk a million miles a minute for you guys. But anyway, for anyone who skipped to the end, site offering the Elephant Crate engine for $60,000 with a sale price of $50,000 when the Hell Crate, or the Hell Crate, when the Elephant Crate isn't even out yet. It ain't going to be out for a little while longer. And I don't believe that $60,000 is going to be the price that even FCA will offer that engine. I feel like it is, if I could bet money on it, I would say that there's no way that the, the Elephant Crate is going to be anywhere near that much money. Sure, it might, at the worst case, it might border 50 grand, but I, like I said before, 33,000 to 40, 42,000. That's my prediction. Team Scat Cat, that's my prediction for the Hellcrate engine. I probably had a little bit of a different guess in uh, my video about the announcement, but as I've taken some time to think about it, that's what I think the final asking price is gonna be. Now, granted, will other shops get the Hellcrate, or the Hellcrate, I keep saying the Hellcrate. Will other shops get the Elephant Crate, and will other shops mark up for it exponentially? Of course they will, because that is, you know, what happens with a supply and demand market, such as anything that FCA or Mopar or Dodge or SRT cranks out. So it's just, it's a high demand thing. I get it, we're all fans of it. But yeah, this site already not even released yet and they're pricing out for people now. I couldn't see if they were taking pre-orders and it was mentioned, it is mentioned in the picture that's not the official FCA pricing, which I think we all do that already. 
but you know what do you guys think let me know in the comments uh, if you like this video of course give it a thumbs up and if you stop by for the first time don't forget to hit that support button on the channel stay tuned with all these quick little car discussions that we have all the uh, things that I do to the Hellcat things that I do with the Hellcat and of course I hope everybody had a good holiday season, whatever holiday that you observe and or celebrate. And I also hope that everybody has a great new year. And if you have any resolutions, start them now and fucking stick to them, son. Just start them now and stick to them. So have a great new year. Everybody don't drink and drive. Everybody be safe on the new year. Enjoy your couple days off if you're like me, I'm starting my four day weekend right now meow everybody be safe i want to see you guys back here for another car discussion or another car mod or another track day when they come around so be safe have a good new year take care youtube i'll see you guys in the next one